here I'm with Joe from D3. Uh, we're taking a look at Marvel Puzzle Quest and all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Uh, if you are not familiar with it, it's a mobile game. It's also on PC. Yep. And uh, now it's kind of also coming its way to uh, consoles. consoles. Yep. So why don't PS3, you talk PS4, that? Uh, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. So um, yeah, it's going to be coming within the next few weeks here. Uh, we don't have an exact date, but very soon. Uh, so the game itself is very similar to the mobile version. It plays exactly the same, but it's a bit remixed. It's meant to be more of like a single player uh, linear RPG experience. So basically it's kind of like the year one version of uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest in mobile. We took all the Dark Reign storyline, uh, rebalanced it, rebalanced all the characters so that it's, uh, you unlock them sequentially and go through, go through it as more of an RPG. Um, and it's also got couch play and online multiplayer real time too. So you can finally sit down next to your friends and figure out which one's actually better at using or playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. So. Yeah, their, their team actually can make the moves themselves rather than the PC doing it for Exactly. Them. Now, um, one of the things I did notice about the console version was that all the characters can get up to, I think, level 300. Yep. You know, so there's no more like, oh, this is a one-star character. Eh, yeah. Um, what, what made you guys uh, go in that direction? Um, well, again, we kind of wanted to make it more of a linear RPG as opposed to, like, you know, a tiered system. So we decided that we wanted to do that just so that players had a little bit more across the board to play with. Um, I mean, otherwise, once they got later in the game, they're pretty much going to be limited to using, you know, three and four-star characters that are in it. And we wanted to have a bigger bigger roster for, you know, the, that particular version of the game. So it was just kind of a, a design development decision that actually worked out really well because when we went to go then balance all the missions, it was a lot easier to just kind of go, okay, well, we expect everyone to be able to get up to 300, so let's just balance the, uh, you know, end missions around a known quantity. So um, let's, let's switch uh, directions back to the, uh, the mobile version. Of the sure. Now... It's your second year, so you're, you're celebrating with the anniversary right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Um, and, and one of the things that I've always liked are these, like, boss events and missions. You guys did the, uh, the Ultron. Yep. And now it's uh, Galactus. Galactus. Why don't you talk a little bit about Galactus and uh, why now, you know? So, uh, I mean, we wanted to do another boss battle for a while now. Uh, we ran Ultron, and we kind of refined his, uh, his method of running and fighting against him over a couple of runs. So we wanted to do another boss battle. And we just decided, you know, out of all the, the villains that we could do right now, it eh, kind of made a little bit of sense. Let's do another huge villain. Later on, we can do, you know, some smaller, smaller Galactuses, you know, gigantic bosses uh, down the line. And we've got plans for more of that. But right now, we just figured, eh, it's pretty good. We just brought out Silver Surfer relatively recently. So it kind of matches up. Um, and Galactus actually runs, like, a, uh, a bit different than uh, the Ultron boss battle ran. So against Ultron, you were beating the snot out of Ultron, and you were beating the snot out of his minions, and his minions were dealing a lot of damage to you. This time around, the villains that you're fighting are kind of the eh, the lesser, you know, enemy. And then you fight against Galactus himself, and Galactus, you know, Iron Fist walking up and punching Galactus isn't really going to work out so well. So uh, Iron Fist has actually been saving me like crazy. <laughs> sure, but he's not going to punch out Galactus. <laughs> it works. I've been yeah. using a Dokken, Iron Fist, and a Falcon. And I can take him out in about five turns. Yeah, well, the the thing is, you got to get to the five turns. So yeah. <laughs> Galactus is designed to take you down if you're not quick enough and if you don't get a, you know a strong enough team and board together. Um, and that's fine. We've actually balanced it for the uh, the alliances to actually be able to lose and still be able to get you know the rewards and everything that we're looking for. And so far, alliances are really been managing it. We got a couple of them that are really high into uh, round seven, almost into the last round already. So. Yeah. They're in round four, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's um, it's refreshing to see uh, that even after two years, the game is still kind of new, and it's, it's still enjoyable. And I think one of the main reasons for that are these uh, new events every single week, and then the constantly bringing in new characters. 